Well, guys, it is now time for my week free picks of the 2022 NFL season. And, of course, last week I went 8-8, eight and eight, so, ugh, very unfortunate, but that's just the reality of the situation. Wait, so many games last week, massive comebacks, of course, doesn't help me much. And, of course, here is the playoffs, I mean, regular season playoff stands at the season end of the day. In the AFC, the Dolphins have the bye with Patriots and Chiefs. The ja Ravens at Jaguars and Bills at Steelers. And the NFC, it's the Buccaneers with the bye. With Bears at Eagles, Gi Packers at Vikings, and Giants at 49ers. And my Super Bowl prediction right now would be the Chiefs beating the Buccaneers. So, with that out of the way, it's time to get to my week free picks. So, anyways, we start off week free on Thursday night with the Steelers at the Browns. As the Brown Steelers won the last two, the Browns haven't beaten them since 2020. And since after this game, these are the only two teams that have won, I mean, played a divisional game in the AFC North. Whoever wins this game will have the lead in the AFC North for the week. So, very important for both of them. So, for Steelers, lost a close one to the Patriots that they could have won and maybe should have. But offense did not show up and the defense didn't show up as much as they did against the Bengals two weeks ago. Meanwhile, the Browns. Oof, a 13-point lead with, like, just a barely over a minute left, and you still lost. I kind of wonder, because I remember it was, like, 24-17 at one point if you missed the extra point, which ha had to been the only reason, because that would have been stupid to go for a two-pointer, because the red zone did not show it at the time. So, unfortunate choke for the Browns right there. They should have been 2-0, but they couldn't get it. So, now, it's going to come down to, honestly, will the Steelers' defense probably show up more, because... The Browns have struggled against Steelers the last, I mean, last year, remember? Steelers, I mean, Steelers swept them. And honestly, both Browns games have been really close. You can make the argument they could have been almost 0-2 right now. So, even though I still don't think the Steelers are really good, knowing their history, I'm actually going to pick the Steelers for this one. And then watch the Browns will get it. Then we get to the 1 p.m. action, starting off. With the Saints at the Panthers, as the Saints won the last one, the Panthers haven't beat them since 2021, and the Saints haven't won in Charlotte since 2020, as the Panthers tried to avoid 0-3 for the first time since 2010. So anyways, the Saints, man, their defense did a good job against the Buccaneers, but then they completely and utterly choked as Winston threw three interceptions in the fourth quarter to give the Buccaneers the easy W. And Brady's first win against Saints in the regular season, so... Meanwhile, the Panthers, another close game, but they still just couldn't seal it against the Giants last week as they're 0-2. Don't really know what to say much about that, though. So, now, the last time these two played Char at Charlotte, the Panthers, remember, destroyed them in Week 2. And, unfortunately for the Saints, I think they've gotten worse so far. They've... Barely beat the Falcons on the comeback, and then they got humiliated by the Buccaneers when they completely choked in the fourth quarter. So, you know what? I actually will pick the Panthers for this one. Then it's the Texans at the Bears for the first time since 2020. As the Bears won the last one, the Texans haven't beaten them since 2016. They haven't won in Chicago since 2012. So anyways, the Texans almost had it against the Broncos. Almost pulled it off, which is incredible. Which begs the question, are the Texans honestly overperforming this year? I mean, think of it. They, I thought they were going to get crushed by the Colts. They ended up tying them. I thought they were going to get crushed by the Broncos. They almost beat them. The Texans right now are playing way better than anyone probably thought they normally would. So, big surprise there to start the year so far. Meanwhile, the Bears... Got humiliated by the Packers to nobody's surprise. That's why they should stop forcing on Sunday night all the time. So, a battle between two bad teams. One looking bad as normal. One actually looking a little bit better than expected right now. Who will get it? You know what? Since how the way the Texans have been playing, I'm going to pick them to get it. They've almost beaten two teams that we predict would be in the playoffs. Now they got to face a team that's terrible. Maybe this will finally be the time where they finally get that win. Then, it'll be the Chiefs at the Colts for the first time since 2016. As the Colts won the last one, the Chiefs haven't beaten them since 2016. And, it, and the Colts haven't won in Indianapolis since 2010 against them. As the Chiefs are trying to go to 3-0 for the first time since 2020. As the Chiefs, 
hard fought game and a comeback too against the Chargers. They were down 17 7 at one point, remember, as they pulled it off. And the Colts, oh my god, the Jaguars curse continues on as they cannot beat the Jaguars in Jacksonville, even though they're vastly superior. And then they got shut out too. Ouch. Very underachieving so far as Matt Ryan played horrible last week. Worst league in terms of offense, yet they get a whole bunch of yards, but they're last in points. Not looking good in that regard. And now they got to go up against one of the better offenses in the league, too, which is not going to look good. But the Colts have done a good job against the Chiefs recently, too. Remember, they upset them in 2019 on Sunday night. So Colts should not be underestimated for this one. Maybe they can get the Chiefs sleeping, but I'm still going to pick the Chiefs for this one. But I won't be surprised if the Colts maybe pull off an upset. And then probably the hugest game in the AFC, especially in the AFC East, as the Bills are at the Dolphins. The Bills won the last seven. The Dolphins haven't beaten them since 2018, as the Bills try to go to 3-0 for the first time since 2020. And the Dolphins try to go to 3-0 for the first time since 2018. As whoever wins this will have the lead in the AFC East. So this is huge. So for the Bills, crushed, humiliated the Titans to nobody's surprise as they undisputedly look like the best team in the league other than a Russian game being around average. Everything else is elite. Meanwhile, the Dolphins, wow. Down 35-14, it don't matter. They get the win 42-38 as they beat the Ravens for only the second time ever in Baltimore, as Tua looked like an MVP in that game. Six touchdowns after that slow start against the Patriots last week. Now, will the Dolphins actually show up as an offense this season, or was that just a fluke against supposedly I mean, looking like a really bad Ravens defense? Unfortunately for them, they're going against a team that they've struggled massively in the last several years. Haven't beaten them in four years. Remember, the Bills shut them out last time they went to the Dolphins 35 so, the And our defense is terrible, too. So despite the Dolphins' very impressive win against the Ravens, I'm still going to pick the Bills for this one. Then a big one, the NFC North, as the Lions are at the Vikings. As the Lions won the last one, the Vikings haven't beaten them since 2021, and the Lions haven't won in Minneapolis since 2017. And due to how the division setup has been so far, Whoever wins this game, and depending on the Packers, will have the lead in the NFC North. And if the Vikings win, they'll definitely have the lead in the NFC North because they'll have a tiebreaker over the Packers already. Yeah, actually, yeah, actually whoever wins this will have the lead in the NFC North because they're undefeated in the division. So, this is a huge for both of them. So, the Lions, offensively, they're looking like good old 2011 again. And how about this? What? Lions third in Russian after two weeks? Even better in their passing offense? What? Yeah, the Lions' offense has been explosive so far. 35 points in plus in both games. Something like that hasn't been mad since, I think, like the 2015, 2013 Broncos. Although, I think they yeah they scored like 40-plus points in those first two games. So, yeah, the Lions' offense has been very, very strong. Their defense, though, has been absolutely horrible. Meanwhile, the Vikings got completely destroyed by the Eagles as Kirk Cousins look uncharacteristically horrible. Three interceptions looked terrible in that game. Definitely not a good start for them in that regard after they crushed the Packers in week one. So, very interesting game. And the thing is, the Lions, despite being terrible last year, they almost swept the Vikings, remember? The Vikings had to get a last-second field goal when they hosted them earlier in the year before they lost to them in Detroit in December. So, this game could go right down to the wire. Yeah, it's going to probably depend on if Kirk Cousins shows up and doesn't shit the bed. And more importantly, the defense shows up. Because that Lions defense is terrible, so they can easily be carved up. So, I'm going to pick the Vikings for this one. But, hey, I'm got a lot of momentum's on the Lions side, so I wouldn't be surprised if they did get the win. Alright, so now on to the next set of games. is another big one to AFC. As the Ravens are at the Patriots for the first time since 2020. Patriots won the last one. The Ravens haven't beaten them since 2019. And they have not beaten the Patriots in Foxborough in the regular season. All their wins were in the playoffs. So, the Ravens humiliated themselves against the Dolphins. You had a 35-14 lead. And Lamar Jackson so far this year has looked really, really good. Just like how he did in his MVP season. 
and yet your defense completely shit the bed against Tua, of all people, to let the Dolphins win. Meanwhile, the Patriots, they actually surprised me by beating the Steelers. Their offense didn't completely choke, and the Steelers' def offense didn't show up near to their defense, really, as they got the needed victory. And this will be interesting because the Patriots, remember, I mean, humiliated the Ravens two years ago when the situations were much different, where the Ravens were much better than they were now, and the Patriots were a lot worse than they are right now. So, it is going to be very interesting to see. Patriots offense has been terrible so far this year, but so has the Ravens defense, as we could see. The Ravens defense, I mean, offense has been really good. But now they're going up against an actual elite defense right now. See, the Patriots are elite in almost every category. So, this <coughs> is going to be interesting. But right now, I think I trust, very funny enough, a rare moment where I actually might trust Lamar this time. Since I didn't trust him at all last year. And I'm going to pick the Ravens to get this in an upset, maybe. Then it's the Bengals at the Jets for a second year in a row. As the Jets won the last one in that upset victory last year. Bengals haven't beaten them since 2019. They haven't won at East Rumford since 2016. As the Bengals try to avoid 0-3 for the first time since 2019. So, the Bengals. Am I surprised that they're 0-2? No. I mean, I expect them to beat the Lewis's Steelers. Even though I think I picked the Bengals still. I thought they were going to beat the Cowboys last week because Dak was gone. But even that wasn't enough as the Cowboys got the victory. And funny enough, the Bengals in both those games have been very close. They've only lost by six points in total. One of them being in overtime, remember, which they should have won on the, that one for that block kick. And they've been very competitive despite um, Burrow playing horrible and the offensive line being even worse than before. It's given up 11 sacks, I think, already. Absolutely horrendous offensive line. That needs massive rework immediately if the Bengals want to have any ch chance of making back to the playoffs, let alone make the Super Bowl again. Meanwhile, the Jets. I keep telling people Flacco still has it in them, and I was proven right again. As the Jets, down 13 points with like slightly a minute remaining, got the victory in the end. As 1-1 one one over the Browns, as they're trying to get over 500 for the first time since like, what? Week 1 of 2018? That's really impressive right there. So... Who will win this game? And you know what? Remember, the Jets actually beat the Bengals last year in that incredible comeback. And honestly, right now, the Bengals are looking kind of bad. And the Jets look really impressive after that victory against the Browns. So you know what? I'm going to pick the Jets to get this. Then, it's the Raiders at the Titans between two teams with losing records for the first time since 2017. Titans won the last one. The Raiders haven't beaten them since 2017. And the Titans have not won at home against them since 2010 between two playoff teams as the Raiders try to avoid 0-3 for the first time since 2018. The Titans trying to avoid 0-3 for the first time since 2009. So the Raiders, you had it at, against the Cardinals. It was a 20 nothing lead at one point and you choked it away with some incredible Madden-like plays from Kyler Murray. Absolutely insane as the Raiders are 0-2, but to my surprise, no. Titans, meanwhile... No surprise you got crushed by the Bills. I'm really, really, really not surprised you lost that badly because you're not really that good of a team. But hey, losing to the Giants and stuff, you definitely put you in a bad hole. You're looking really, really, really bad right now. Offense looks horrible. Derrick Henry hasn't even hit 100 yards on Fick this season yet. Maybe showing that the injury has really affected his play because this is only his third game since his injury last year. And their defense, after looking pretty good last year, looking like shit so far. So, boy, it's about between two underachieving teams right now that no one I think was surprised about. But you know what? I have a lot more faith right now in the Raiders, so I'm going to pick them to get it. Alright, so then we get to the Eagles at the Commanders. As this is a big one in the NFC East. As the Eagles won the last two, the Commanders haven't beaten them since 2020. As the Eagles try to get the 3-0 for the first time since 2016. Meanwhile, the Eagles crush the Vikings as they have one of the best offenses in the league. And their defense is playing solid. So far, definitely over um, overachieving for what I was expected. Meanwhile, the Commanders, they got crushed by the Lions. They were down 22-0 at one point, remember? They made the Furies comeback, but they couldn't get in the end. 
So this is going to be an interesting game. First off, Carson Wentz going up against his former his Virgil team for the first time ever, which will be interesting to see. Now, both games, remember, last year were close. And the Commanders offensively, other than the rushing game, have been pretty elite, just like the Eagles. Defensively, though, they've been horrible. So this will be an interesting game to see. With Wentz, would it be enough to actually for the Commanders to beat the Eagles? Or will the Eagles' much better offense and defense being solid be enough to continue the streak going? I really want to say the Commanders, but I just don't trust them right now. So I'm going to pick the Eagles for this one. All right, and we get to the 4 p.m. games. Starting off with a big one, the AFC 2, as the Jaguars are at the Chargers for the first time since 2020. The, Jet, the Chargers won the last two. I have them as the San Diego. Oh, my God. That's not the first time that's happened. Anyways, the Chargers won the last two. The Jaguars haven't beaten them since 2017, and they've never won on the road against the Chargers in their 27-year history. So the Jaguars shut out the Colts, but remember, that's the streak going, so no one's really surprised about that. But right now, they're leading the AFC South, and they're honestly looking not bad. Right now... With the Titans struggling, the Colts struggling, the Texans being just 0-1-1, you gotta say right now the Jaguars might be the team to be right now in the AFC South, which even I didn't expect that. So yeah, right now one and one. Meanwhile, the Chargers had a hard fought game, but they just choked against the Chargers last. I mean the Chiefs last week. Man, um, Herbert, if you didn't throw a pick six, maybe you could have gotten it. And of course, Herbert got hurt, which is not good whatsoever. But the Chargers, this actually could be very interesting to see. But I think I'm going to pick the Chargers still for this one. But watch out for the Jaguars. They're looking scary right now. Because remember, they almost beat the Commanders too. So they could have been 2-0 right now. Meanwhile, a big one the NFC North. I mean, NFC West. As the Rams are at the Cardinals. The Rams won the last one. The Cardinals haven't beaten them since 2021. And they haven't beaten the Rams at home since 2014. Just like another weird streak going on like with the Colts and Jaguars. So, the Rams last week, they beat the Falcons, but they had a 28 free lead at one point, and they almost choked it away, only winning by four in the end. So, the Rams are definitely not looking good this year right now whatsoever. The Cardinals, meanwhile, they had a really huge needed bounce back, down 20 to nothing on the Raiders, and some voodoo magic from Kyler Murray to get the win in overtime to salvage their terrible start to the season. Their defense is horrible, their offense is still pretty good. It seems to be mostly just their defense playing garbage. So you know what? With the Rams struggling right now, I'm going to pick the Cardinals for this one to finally end that streak. Then it's the Falcons at the Seahawks for the first time since 2017. Seahawks won the last two. The Falcons haven't beaten them since that Monday nighter in 2017. And the Seahawks haven't won at home against them since 2016. As the Falcons tried to avoid 0-3 for the first time since 2020. So the Falcons, I don't know what to say about the Falcons. Against the Saints, they had a 26-10 lead, and then they choked it away. Last week, they were down 28-3 on the chart, the um, Rams, and they almost pulled it off, but they couldn't do it in the end. So the Falcons, I really don't know what to say about them. Seahawks, meanwhile, I guess so, so that um, game against the Broncos was just a fluke because they got the absolute shit kicked out of them against the 49ers as they look awful. They look awful. As they got obliterated. So, the um, Falcons are inconsistent. The Seahawks have flip-flopped all over the place. So, who will get this? Could the Seahawks get a surprise 2-1 start? Or will the Falcons get the win? I honestly am going to pick the Falcons right now for this one. Because the Seahawks just did not look good at all against the 49ers. Then we get to a big one the NFC. As the Packers are at the Buccaneers for the first time since 2020. Buccaneers won the last one. The Packers haven't beaten them since 2017, and they haven't won in Tampa since 2014. As the Buccaneers try to get the free and over the first time since 2005, and I also think some of these—I think these stats for the Buccaneers are inaccurate. I think I did someone else by mistake because I don't think the Buccaneers' offense is that bad. But we'll get to that in a little bit. So the Packers got their tune-up game against the Bears. No one's surprised about that. And I also don't think the Buck, the Packers' stats are correct right here. Either. I don't think their offense is that bad. But they got that need win against the Bears as they're now going to visit the Buccaneers, which is not going to be easy. Meanwhile, the Buccaneers. Yeah, so you know what? Got to give you credit. You're 2-0 when I thought you were going to start the year 0-2 against the Cowboys and Saints. So that's good in that regard. But the problem is their offense has been 
pretty bad so far this year. They've only scored like 39 points. Last year, they scored almost all that and more than that in both their games. So their offense like cut in half from last year. Defensively, meanwhile, their defense... Yeah, I don't think I did their defense correct either because defensively, they are elite right now. If anything, the Buccaneers are reminding me a lot of like the 2015 Broncos because Brady has not been playing good so far this season. But the Buccaneers being competent general managers so far with Brady compared to Peyton being horrible in 2015. But guess what? That's not going to be enough to win a Super Bowl if you're going to want that. you got to start actually playing offensively very good. So... The Buccaneers' offense better show up against the Packers this one because they need to score a whole bunch of points against Aaron Rodgers unless their defense shuts them down like they've done against the Cowboys and Saints so far. But I'm going to pick the Buccaneers still for this one. And then we get to Sunday night as it's the 49ers at the Broncos for the first time since 2014, which, by the way, that game was also Sunday night too. 49ers won the last one. The Broncos haven't beaten them since that 2014 game. And the 49ers haven't won in Denver since 2006. So the 49ers got a right game against the Seahawks. They needed that to salvage their terrible start to the season. Meanwhile, Trey Lance, not only did he not play good so far this year, but he suffered a season and an injury. So now Jimmy G is back. So the 49ers looking like geniuses to keep him now instead of trading him away, which I would have done. As their defense is very elite, their offense though, ugh, they need to really improve on that one. Meanwhile, the Broncos, so far the Broncos have been very, very, very disappointed. They have underachieved. They didn't beat the Seahawks, and then they barely beat the Texans. Their offense is horrible. They can't score in the red zone. Their coach so far is an absolute idiot. They've very underachieved so far. And it's not looking good for them. They need to, they're also kind of remind me of the 2012 Broncos when Peyton first came out, where they struggled off the gate. Two and three went down 24 enough for them to charge before they finally got the win. Yeah, not looking good in that regard. And you know what? I actually am going to trust the 49ers in this one. Before the year, I would have picked the Broncos easy, but the way they've been playing right now, I can't. They've been playing just horrible. And then finally, we get to Monday night, a game I thought was going to have no significance whatsoever, but ends up being very important right now, as the Cowboys are at the Giants. Cowboys won the last two. Giants haven't beaten them since 2020, as the Giants try to get the 3-0 for the first time since 2009. So the Cowboys... Got a huge needed victory against the Bengals to salvage their season as Cooper Rush is a solid QB. And the Cowboys are going to need that throughout the good part of the season until Dak comes back against the Bengals. Meanwhile, the Giants, it may not look pretty, but guess what? They're 2-0 and right now. They're one of the five undefeated teams remaining, or six or so. They are undefeated, and I don't think anyone probably expected that as they beat the Pampers. As right now, they're in position to take an early lead in the NFC East if they win and the Eagles lose, which is crazy. So, yeah, this game, both teams, if I remember correctly, go back and forth when they ho when the Giants host. And especially with the Cowboys kind of injured with Dak, it's wide open right now. And this might be crazy, but I'm actually going to pick the Giants for this one now. Haven't picked them once this year. I'm going to pick them now again. And then watch the Cowboys will destroy them and show that they're nothing to worry about without Dak. All right, so those are my picks for week three. I cannot wait for Steelers at Browns tonight. And by the way, for anyone wondering, I was able to watch the Chiefs Chargers game last week because I found a Twitch Prime link that actually plays the game. I'll put in, um, I'll pin it, ping it in the comments so you can go see if it works for you tonight as well because I'm going to see if that does. So hopefully we can watch it again. But anyways, my picks for week three. Steelers over the Browns, Panthers over the Saints, Texans over the Bears, Chiefs over the Colts, Bills over the Dolphins, Vikings over the, Ra the Lions, Ravens over the Patriots, Jets over the Bengals, Raiders over the Titans, Eagles over the Commanders, um, Chargers over the Jaguars, Cardinals over the Rams, Falcons over the Seahawks, Buccaneers over the Packers, 49ers over the Broncos, and Giants over the Cowboys. So see you guys next time for Week 4.